So before I begin, enjoy. It's a cheeky tunnel. <laughs> that sounds epic. I am going to need to ask somebody to come and film that from the outside because <laughs> so the exhaust from Ultrasport on low volume. It's very much standard. Nicer tone, nicer sound, but not very loud. With the exhaust valve open though, it sounds fruity, but also it's not decibel breaking. Hoping this comes across as audio wise, I hope this comes across as nice if it sounds on board. Um, I've got some drive-by shots, we ran out of camera, battery and I forgot to bring a spare. So we have some outside shots to come up, we have some internal microphone so it's behind the rear bumper so it gives you the least amount of wind with just a little bit of road noise because it's really hard to tile that out and the sound is pretty damn good, I've already pre-listened to it. And so I hope you're all going to enjoy listening to that. I just thought I'd do a little mini intro, some randomly good loud noises, followed by a bit of a review at the end. So if you're here just for the noises, skip ahead a little bit. If you're here just to hear the review, that's at the end, but I really would listen to the sound clips in full.
lovely day. The M1 is closed. It's just going to be a small issue. So it might end up being an extended review. But I like the fact I've just been through a little town and the exhaust is set to the lowest volume. It's quiet, it's not intrusive. And then I can simply pull up and switch to the louder mode. But the quiet mode still sounds pretty good once you open it up. Up to that point, it sounds pretty much the same. Yeah, for best result, switching between the modes, you can do it while you're on the move or off the gas, but to get the best sound, you need to wait till the engine's practically idling to remove the back pressure. I mean, in fairness, that's how I'd always prefer to do things anyway. If you're in the market to buy this exhaust and you can stomach such a high cost, I'd say definitely go for it. If you see one second hand, I would definitely recommend it because you get the best of both worlds. Because it is very civilised in the quieter mode. So I've just driven through a little town and you can barely tell the car's got a different exhaust on. It's the beauty of having the valve is just hands down amazing. If I could fit this to the Mark III, although I'm unaware of anything that has this fitted to a Mark III, this would be my way to go for an exhaust every time because I like a loud exhaust, not obnoxiously loud, but I like a loud exhaust and the issue is it's loud all the time. Mine pops, bangs and burbles, not always that loud, but the point is it does it. But I don't have a button I can press to make it quiet. That is where this wins hands down. The ability to press that button is just, oh, it's just unreal. I know it comes on more expensive hyper cars. Um, I've got a, I know somebody who's got an Aston Martin and theirs has the button to do it, but for a, a normal road car that's obtainable, the exhaust is pricey. I would never buy it new. Never in a month of Sundays.